We are joined by sports journalist Ellen Hislop. She is the co-founder at The Gist. Thank you so much for joining us. I mean, this is, um, this is something that uh, continues to make headlines. We even know that uh, Spain's uh, labor minister is also weighing in. Uh, what's the latest on this ongoing story? Yeah, thanks so much for having me, Jamie. Really, the latest on this is that everyone thought that Ruby Alice was going to resign on Friday. And instead, at a press conference on Friday, he said that he was going to fight for his position to remain as president. He said that he thought that it was a social assassination of his character. He thought that it was a witch hunt. And he basically said that Jenny Hermoso was lying. Um, and so that's really, really unfortunate. And I think just not the case based off of everything that we have seen on global TV. And so right now, FIFA has essentially suspended Luis Rivialis for 90 days. Um, they have also said that the Spanish Football Federation is not allowed to contact Jenny Hermoso for 90 days, and neither is Rubialis. And really right now, it's up in the of what is going to happen to Rubialis as well as the Federation on the whole. He, uh, Rubialis has been pretty defiant in his defense of his position. Uh, you know, what's the soccer world saying about this? Uh, how are people reacting? There's kind of two different sides to this. I think on the one side and the side that we're really paying a lot of attention to is how the women's soccer world in particular is responding. If you look at the NWSL, every single team over the weekend put out a statement saying that they are with Jenny Hermoso. So many players across the world and men's and women's players across the world are saying that they believe Jenny. There has been a lot of Spanish pro men's soccer teams that have Put up banners and statements themselves saying that they're with Jenny. And there has been a couple of men's Spanish um, national team members that have also said that they are boycotting. So it's not just happening only in Spain, this response. It's happening around the world. Most notably, too, 81 Spanish women's national team players have said that they will not play for Spain until Luis Rubiales has stepped aside. The, this, uh, Spain's uh, labor minister denounced uh, this whole situation, calling it a s systemic chauvinism. And if there's, you know, so much that we've learned over the last, you know, six or seven years post the Me Too movement is there's just, you know, there's just so many boundaries that you're just, we sh a lot of men should know that you just don't cross. Do you think that this situation could have been settled if uh, Rubiales just came out and admitted, you know, this, the, this was a mistake, I shouldn't have done this, and move on and this wouldn't have made headlines or what's your take on that? This is a really big question. I think that when we're thinking about soccer on the whole, it's not the greatest place for women, either from a professional perspective or from a playing perspective. When you're looking at FIFA, just as an organization in general, they're not necessarily known to be the most welcoming. Even just a couple of weeks ago, the president of FIFA, Gianni Infantino, said some really sexist remarks and things that a lot of the world's top women's players had an issue with. And so when you think about where soccer is kind of starting from and looking at on the FIFA side of things, it's no wonder there's this trickle down effect to so many different associations having this problem. I think in Spain, of course, Ruby Alice is an issue, but the Spanish women's national team has been dealing with an issue with their team for over a year now. Last September, 15 players actually resigned in protest of their head coach, Jorge Vilda, who Ruby Alice has continued to back and actually offered a four-year contract extension. And so we're not just talking about one bad apple here, which is, I think, what the minister is really getting at, is that everything with the Royal Spanish Football Federation needs needs to be reworked because of the system that they're operating in right now. And just to add to what's going on on this story, uh, apparently Rubialis's mother has started a hunger strike uh, at, inside a church uh, to basically protest against what she calls uh, inhumane treatment um, over her sons uh, over this incident. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out in the weeks uh, to come. Ellen Hislop with the gist. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.